All right, so the question is, uh, well, I guess it's more of a statement. <laughs> also love a video on when you owe the IRS and you want to purchase a home. Oh, the good old IRS. So if you owe money to the IRS, then it's going to put a dramatic halt on buying a home and getting approved for a loan. And the main reason why is because the IRS, uh, if they put a lien on a house, that ex supersedes any other lien. So here's an example. If, if let's say you go purchase a, a home um, and then the IRS has a tax lien, they're gonna put it on the house and it's gonna have more priority than the mortgage lien. Okay, so what that means is if uh, you get foreclosed on, the IRS gets paid first before the mortgage lender does. And mortgage lenders don't like that because they want their money. They don't want it to go to the IRS um, because then they basically get a loss on that loan. So they're not going to approve somebody who has an outstanding lien that's not being uh, taken care of. So there's really just two ways to take care of an IRS, uh, uh, basically payment that you have to be made. So number one is you pay it in full. Okay, so we, we just gotta get that taken care of. Um, eventually it's gonna have to get taken care of anyway, right? We, we live in the US and taxes provide a lot of benefits for us. So we need to pay our taxes. Uh, so it's gonna have to get paid. So either we paid in full, or if that doesn't work, then you need to set up a payment plan with the IRS. The longer that we let this wait, uh, the worse of an issue it's gonna become, the more penalties you're gonna pay on that money. So if you can't pay it in full, work with the IRS to get a payment plan going. Once you get a payment plan, you need to have three on-time payments, and then you can apply for a home. Those monthly payments are gonna to have to be calculated in your debt to income ratio. Um, so it's something to be mindful of. I have some videos on debt to income ratio if you wanna figure that out and how to qualify for different loan programs with your debt to income ratio. But those are the two main ways. You either pay it in full or get on a monthly payment plan, make three payments, and then you can apply for a mortgage.